This video is sponsored by Grammarly. Though minimalism is often used as a tool to help us consume less and more mindfully, I've gotten requests to share how minimalism has affected my work life. To be honest, I think any regular working day in my life may be quite similar to yours, as I find myself, quite often, sitting behind a screen. However, I have taken steps towards simplifying my work life so that I have a healthier work-life balance. And while I don't think it stems entirely from my minimalist lifestyle, I suppose we can label my working style as simple and minimalist. So if you guys didn't know, I'm a freelancer. I work primarily on my blog and YouTube channel, Simply by Christine, but I also create content for other sustainable brands, coordinate zero waste weddings part-time, and recently started an organic cookie business. My days are often a mishmash of different activities, which I enjoy, but today I'll be working specifically on creating content. My best work days usually start with some routine, whether it's journaling, devotionals, or taking time to meditate. I found that taking time to quiet my heart before a busy day helps me stay calmer. After journaling, I'm also getting a walk in with Cooper first thing in the morning. Taking small but regular 30 minute walks throughout the day has been a really great way to help me reset before work begins. I'd encourage you to get up and out of your home to go on regular walks too. It's just so good for your health to stay moving. After the morning walk, I'll go ahead and check my emails and messages. I work with an agency based in the UK, so sometimes I can catch them in the mornings here in California. I used to be relatively rigid with my schedule and forget to give myself space, diving straight into work first thing in the morning, but I've learned that it's okay to take breaks if I'm unable to work productively. This particular morning, I'm not really in my usual morning groove of wanting to get things done, so I'm going to be flexible and get my workout done early. Sometimes I am in that groove and want to get some editing done on a video, but today feels different. Some days I work out at lunchtime, other days in the afternoon, depending on how productive I am. But when I exercise, I try my best to get a 20 to 50 minute workout video and with weights to keep my body moving. Doing these exercises keep me feeling strong, energized, and awake for the rest of the workday. And it helps me not only physically, but also mentally. I'll go ahead and wash up after the workout to freshen up and then we'll hop into the kitchen to eat a quick brunch. Before I dive any deeper into today's workday, I wanted to thank Grammarly for sponsoring today's video. Grammarly is a digital writing assistant that can be downloaded and added to your browser, offering suggestions on sites like Gmail if you're writing an important email. While the free version provides basic spelling and grammar checks, the premium version goes beyond to measure more in-depth writing feedback. Get vocabulary suggestions to use more effective wording. Clarity feedback to write more concise, meaningful sentences, as well as tone detection to ensure your messages are professional. You can sign up for a free Grammarly account at Grammarly.com slash Simply by Christine for 20% off Grammarly Premium today. 
I find myself enjoying my first meal any time between 10 and 11 a.m., but I'll eat something earlier if I'm hungry enough. I'm keeping it simple by heating some leftovers from the night before. A hearty chickpea stew with a side of rice and toasted almonds. I'll be sure to link the recipe in the blog post below too if you're interested. We do our best to cook large portions to eat those dishes continually throughout the week as it saves us time and energy on busier days. After that meal, it's almost noontime, which seems a bit late to start a working day, but if there's anything I've learned in my short working experience, it's that it's okay to be flexible with your hours. There are some seasons when I'm a morning person, but these days I actually tend to be a night owl, especially with late night bakes for my cookie company. So if you notice yourself being more effective during certain times of the day, try to go with the flow if you can. Once I'm ready to sit down with the computer and get to work, I found it best to focus on just a few priorities for each workday. Typically for me, three to four hours is plenty of time to get specific activities and also gives a buffer if anything goes wrong or I'm actually not as productive as I had originally hoped. So in essence, I want to do less and minimize, but do so purposefully and well. When I reach a writer's block or I realize I've been sitting for too long, I usually go ahead grab a cup of hot water in the kitchen, or change locations to help freshen my mind as I move on to a different focus for the day. So for today, before it gets too close to dinner time, I'm gonna see what I can do to prepare for this upcoming video, such as outlining the shots I need to film. Though I had initially hoped to update old blog posts according to my schedule for today, I don't have too much time left before prepping for dinner, so I'm going to be realistic with what I can tackle. Sometimes things don't always go to plan, and that's totally okay. Also, Peter and I often get a little snacky in the late afternoon, and Cooper does too, so we're all going to have a quick snack together. I get cravings for these veggie nuggets every so often, so we treat ourselves this afternoon. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up whatever I can before it's time to prep for dinner, and I may work a bit more in the evening if I have some energy left, but since we have a busy weekend ahead of baking for our cookie company, I'll stay flexible. So that's my minimalist workday, and as you might have noticed, it wasn't super busy as I tried my best to maintain a healthy work pace. Focusing on fewer, impactful tasks and making sure I have time to move and exercise are my main two takeaways if you'd like to create a simple, healthy work routine at home this season. But if anything, just remember to take care of yourself. I struggle with anxiety when I had a very stressful routine and expectations for myself in my corporate job, and I found that it's so important to work out priorities with your managers, with your teammates as needed, and just make sure that you have time to rest at the end of the day. As the saying goes, life is a marathon, not a sprint. It's something I'm continually learning and reminding myself as a high output individual. With that, I appreciate you all being here and sharing life with me. I hope you enjoyed this little snippet of my work life and can find some balance and peace in yours as well. <laughs>